Hello guys, welcome back, welcome back. I hope you are all having an absolutely fantastic day. I have to speed things up here because these games these days do not last long. So let's get right into it. Kaiser Wilhelm from the B clan is playing his Jagd Taiga. Is it the Jagd Taiga or the Jagd Panza? It's the Jagd Taiga. Kaiser Wilhelm. Let's start the clock. Okay, we're counting down six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Now these games oh, these days, high tier or low tier, it doesn't matter. They just, on average, what's what's the average length of a game these days? You know, I, I could exaggerate and say three, four minutes. That's not true. But there are a lot of three, four minute games, aren't there? There are some longer games too. What's the average number? I, I would say what, six? Six and a half? If a game lasts seven minutes now, you're going, wow, that was a, that was a, a real battle. I don't know. Oh, oh, beautiful shot. That was very nice. I'd, I'd have to say that uh, these days, within the first two minutes, you, not even the first two minutes, within the first minute and a half, minute, minute and a half, you know whether it's going to be a blowout or not. Right? You have a pretty good idea of whether it's going to be a blowout or not in the first minute. And now we have uh, uh, the new the new patch here. We have the health bar on top. Take a look at the bar on top there. The I've got purple and green. It's red and green usually, but I, I use the purple and green because there's some people that are colorblind. You can see the health bar of the two teams. And I think um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out and say that this is gonna speed the games up even more, but it allows you to see how quickly one team's HP starts falling. And uh, maybe it gives you the, uh, it's a good thing to have because when you notice the enemy team H bar, HP bar just dwindling like it is, you kind of think, well, I should get more aggressive because there's, even though there's still a lot of tanks, the score is 1-1, one, one, they have a lot less HP. You know what I mean? And uh, there's a turning point in the game where you realize, oh, okay, they're all very low on HP. Time to, time to YOLO. Not yet, though, buddy. You just got ammo racked. That's not what this video is about. It's just an observation. We're watching Kaiser Wilhelm. Kaiser Wilhelm 2. If he has ways of winning this game, he's going to shoot him in the side. You can pet him. He's angled too much. There, shoot him in the side. You can pet him. <laughs> shoot him in the side. You can pet him. Shoot him. See? No problem. He's angled too much. And that's actually not a blowout yet. Uh, purple is down, but uh, but green didn't push their advantage. Of course, it is a, a little bit of a, a brawl here in the city. Like most of these maps, the little choke point right here where the heavy tanks fight. Yeah, the more armor you have and the bigger gun you have and the higher DPM you have, yada, yada, yada. He doesn't have a turret, though, so he's uh, relegated to aiming at this little... Yeah, he's made a mistake. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look how fast his damage. He's over uh, 3,500 damage. The game's only three minutes so far, guys. It's only been three minutes. You know, and, and a lot of us are thinking, oh, you could have moved up. You could have made that shot count. This is uh, typically when the game's pretty much over. Three minutes in, it's pretty much like, well, it's a fait, uh, what is it called? A, a fait accompli? Shoot him in the side. You can pet him. Or if he shows you his front. Yeah. Okay, the score is 3-3. But look at the HP bars. The enemy team's taken a lot more damage. And I think uh, if people start using this HP bar at the top, if they start, the teams start coordinating, thinking, look, we've got a big advantage here, let's just push. And there's more teamwork, more uh, uh, wolf packing, so to speak. I think uh, good players that take a good look at that HP bar are going to do a lot even better. It's going to be more of an advantage. And I know some people had this uh, mod already downloaded. But look, the score is 6-4. It's close, but look at the HP bars. Uh, if you have some, maybe a platoon of mediums or uh, a player who knows what he's doing, it's time to YOLO in. And, and this guy's blocked. YOLO in. Don't just sit there. YOLO in, buddy. Look at this. Look at the HP bars. It's over, right? And it's been four and a half minutes. So th these games these days, the, the damage just, oh, trolled. 
controlled by the the Doom Turtle. And now it snowballs to to defeat four or five minute games. I I'm not uh, I'm not saying that the HP bar is going to accelerate that, but I'm saying have a look at it when you're playing, and you'll see how quickly, sometimes how quickly the game is just over. I've had a couple of games where that HP discrepancy is almost a 50% discrepancy and the, st and the score is still like 2-2. So it seems like it's close, but it's not. And that, look at this. He's over 5,000 damage. It's... Uh, I guess it's been five minutes. Raise the PP. You're too slow. You can't get any more. That's it. That's a typical uh, World of Tanks game these days. So uh, for a YouTuber and content provider, I can't just show you one game because the video is only five minutes. So I guess I got to show you another game. Yeah, there's the PP. You did fantastic. Was that enough in four minutes, four and a half minutes? Ace tanker. There you go. Beautiful. Over 5,000 damage. And uh, you made some credits. Well done, well done. Who's this? Who's this? What is, that's me. If you can do it at the high tier, I can do it at the low tier. I'm playing the P-43, the Italian, the Italian Stallion tank, tier 6, medium. Why? Why am I playing this? I played this a uh, long time ago on my grind to get the, uh, uh, the Italian mediums, but I finally started uh, grinding the Italian heavy tanks. So uh, I went to buy the first Italian heavy tank and realized, no, wait, I got I to gotta get 50,000 uh, 50, XP with this thing before I can get it. So I, I rolled out, it took uh, 20 games or something with a booster. And this is one of the games. Just a little low tier of, uh, thank you gun, that beautiful Italian gun. <laughs> well, I only had, I had only aimed for uh, 15 seconds, so I guess it's possible that I could miss. And I'm a Muppet, so I didn't, uh, I didn't aim that shot. I didn't aim that shot. <laughs> and, uh, there we go. There we go. And a uh, little low tier fun. If you know, why would I shoot him? Yeah, let's say perfectly this time. Oh, oh, that didn't work. That one didn't penetrate. And the game is. Uh, is the game over? Look at the HP bar on the top. It's just. It's dwindling. It's dwindling. Now we are winning, but we've lost more HP. It's interesting. I kind of like this HP, uh, HP, not HB. It's just another um, a bit of information in the game. And I'm glad that it's in the game and not in a mod. It, it was already out in a mod. Uh, and don't give me the story, oh, well, it's because it was a mod, so now it's been incorporated into... If, if the idea is there, Wargaming could put this thing in the game in 10 seconds, right? They're not completely incompetent when it comes to... Uh, programming the game but that's not the discussion for today the discussion is yeah I kind of like this uh, HP total HP mod and it, uh, this game looks even now we are we are ahead by tanks but HP looks even it's another bit of information so it tells me actually don't even though we're winning don't YOLO in it's not mop up time yet right it's not time to YOLO in and even though it's 5-2 we don't have a tremendous HP advantage, so it tells me that most of the tanks on this flank here are probably high health. So it's not worth me rushing in there to, to mop up. Whereas uh, maybe without the uh, without that HP bar at the top, I would think, oh, it's 6-2. And I've made that mistake before, right? Oh, it's 6-2. It's, it's, this is a win. And then I better get some damage and I YOLO in there and encounter three or four enemies at full HP. So it's, a, it's another bit of information, and I'm glad, I'm just saying I'm glad that everybody, the whole player base, has it. Uh, because I, I think in the past, some of the uh, uh, more, uh, how should I put it, better players or more committed players would have downloaded this mod, and some beginners would not have the mod, and uh, would make mistakes. See, even though we're winning 7-2 now, HP-wise, uh, it's almost even. And so I've been more cautious here, which was exactly the right thing to do. And now I can farm. And now the HP is starting to turn our way. As I, uh, each shot I take 
is lowering their HP. This gun at tier 6 with this 240 alpha is pretty nice. And uh, that's a little bit of a... Look at this. Yeah, gotcha. You Russian big behemoth. Now we've got the advantage, right? This gun, 240 alpha at tier 6. Beautiful. Or is it 220? 240? 20, it might be 220. But, uh, boy, did I learn the hard way. Th then you get tier 7. You, you play the first tier 7 Italian Heavy, and you basically got about the same gun, but you shoot slower at tier 7. You get a tank that's slower, that doesn't have very much more armor, unless, like, yeah, less mobility, and pretty much the same gun, but less DPM at tier 7. <laughs> so you know how that is going to go, and I'm, I've got a video ready for that, for the tier 7 heavies. Oh my god. Just stick with this one. If you guys have, uh, have been going down the Italian line, just stay, stick with the tier 6 and don't go any higher. If you if you were planning on doing the Italian heavies, just stop at tier 6. Keep this one. This is basically a medium heavy for tier 6. And enjoy yourself. But I will go all the way down the line and report back on what I think. And I'll give you the full report. I did the tier 7. We're going to play tier 8, 9, and 10 and I'll let you know. All the way up to Rinoceronte. Look at this. Now I'm just farming, but I've lost all my HP, so I can't YOLO. And this game's uh, not now you can see the HP bar. It's it's basically just these three tanks in front of me that are remaining. I'm gonna try and just get some spotting damage from the uh, from the uh, SPG. I should be side scraping here, but I'm a muppet. Where'd he go? Hey, what happened? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, the artillery killed him. <laughs> Where is he? How come he's not there? Oh, he's dead. This is <laughs> this is how I play the game, okay? And uh, I've got the broken engine now. Ah, uh, but now the dollars per minute algorithm's gonna kick in. There's nothing they can do to to hurt me now. You can't hurt me now. Let's just uh, yeah, come on. Yeah, you're gonna bounce. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Anyways, guys, I, I like the uh, the HP bar on top. I think it's. Um, it's just another little tool. Take note of it and uh, use it accordingly uh, just to uh, make some slightly different decisions in the game. Thanks for watching. I lost a shit ton of credits because I did spam APCR like a motherfucker. I will catch you guys on the next one.